Hello everybody, so today we are going to have a new English uh, session. We are going to have a review of unit number 7 and number 8. So let's dive in. In this session we are going to review our grammar, phrasal verbs, relative pronouns, as well as conditional type 0 and 1. Here we have to fill in the blanks with the correct phrasal verbs. Go on. Bring up, give up, put up with, take off. Number one, the plane which from Madrid will land at Casablanca Airport on time. Number two, the must smoking. It is harmful to your health. Number three, I can't with people shouting at me. Number four, walk in until you see a small sign on your left. That is the school where I study. Number five. A long time ago, people, children with very little money. Now, if please, why don't you take some time and do the exercise yourself? Now the answers. 1. The plane which takes off from Madrid will land at Casablanca Airport on time. But why here this S? Because the plane will have the plane. The personal pronoun that replaces the plane is it. Number two, you must give up smoking to stop smoking. It is harmful to your health. Number three, I can't put up with people shouting at me. Oh, here we have put up with, it means tolerate. I can't accept people shouting at me. Number four, Go on walking until you see a small sign on your left. There is the school where I study. Go on here, it means continue. Number five. A long time ago, people brought up children with very little money. As you notice here, we have bring up in the past. Why we put it in the past? Because we have a long time ago. So, the whole sentence is in the past. Exercise number two. Match the phrasal verbs in bold type with their synonyms. Close, realized, support, reached, caused to happen. Number one. Americans figured out that the death toll in their country surpassed that reported in mainland China. Number two. Coronavirus has brought about havoc across the world. Number three. As of the 8th of April 2020, the confirmed cases being infected by the novel coronavirus went up to 1,242. 4. An emergency fund was established in order to back up a health infrastructure and support the worst affected economic sectors. Number 5. On the 13th of March, the government decided to shut down all schools until further notice. Now the answers. Number one, figured out, it means realized. Notice here that figured out is in the past and also realized should be in the past. Number two, brought about. It is in the past and it means caused to happen. Number three, went up. It is in the past also. It means reached. Number four, backup. It means support. Uh, number five, shut down. It means close. Okay. Now, if you please, why don't you take some time and do the exercise yourself? Number three, match the main sentence with the relative clause. Number one. Neil Armstrong was the first man. Number two, Ramadan is an occasion. Number three, a pharmacy is a place. Number four, the student. Number five, that's the hotel. A, which burned down last night. B, who set foot on the moon. C, where you buy medicines. D, when Muslims fast and recite Quran. And E, whose father died is there now if please why don't you take some time and do the exercise yourself 
Now the answers. Number one, Neil Armstrong was the first man who set foot on the moon. Number two, Ramadan is an occasion when Muslims fast and recite Quran. Number three, a pharmacy is a place where you buy medicines. Number four, the student whose father died is there. I'm sorry because I have uh, mistakenly typed one. Huh? There is no one there, all right? Number five, that's the hotel which burned down last night. Okay. Number four, we have to choose from the relative pronouns listed below to complete the sentences. We have which, whose, who, when, and where. Number one, Dallas is the city Kennedy was shot. Number two, Bill Clinton was the president, wife was called Hillary. Number three, Sunday is the day most countries respect as a day of rest in the week. Number four, Rotterdam is the port, is the busiest in Europe. Number five, Robinson Crusoe is the fictional character, companion was Man Friday. Number six, smog is the thing, is a combination of fog and smoke or pollution. Ram is the strong drink, is associated, associated with the Caribbean. Number 8. Hiroshima is the place the first atomic bomb was dropped. Now, if you please, why don't you take some time and do the exercise yourself? Now the answers. Number 1. Where? We are talking about uh, the city. Dallas, the city, alright? Number 2. We are talking about Bill Clinton's wife, so we use whose. Number three, the day, we are talking about a, a thing, so we use which. Number four, the port, it's a thing also, so we use which. Number five, we are, a, we are talking mainly about uh, Robinson Crusoe's uh, companion, so we have uh, whose. Number six, we are talking about the thing, so we use which. Uh, number seven, also we are talking about the thing. A drink so we use which and uh, number eight we are talking about Hiroshima uh, as a place so we use where see you next time